So which papers are in the Harlemuller Fine Art Glossy Test Pack and which images work best on them? Well hello, welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today what we're going to be looking at is the Fine Art Glossy Test Pack from Harlemuller. Now I have to say this is probably one of my favourite test packs and it has in all the lovely brighter papers and the photo rag brighters and pearls and satins and things. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how all these different papers react to a different selection of images. Now I've printed off quite a large selection of pictures out on the table here, different papers, some black and white, some colours, just to see how the papers react and which images I kind of like and which ones work best on all these papers. But before we get into all these lovely papers, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. Just click that subscribe button in the bottom right. And also don't forget to sign up to our weekly newsletter to get all the news from Photospeed and also exclusive discounts every week on different products. And also don't forget to download the Photospeed Art of Printing, which is the free ebook from us here at Photospeed. And it will give you absolutely everything you need along your printing journey. And it will take you through absolutely everything you need from turning on your printer to mounting, to framing, to bookmaking. So it's a really great thing. And there's something in there for everyone. So if you're a beginner, it's a great thing to read to get yourself kind of up and running and printing successfully. But also, if you're a seasoned printer, then hopefully it will fill in a little bit of gaps and give you a little bit of confidence to kind of continue with your printing journey. But today, we're going to be focusing on paper and specifically the Harlemuller Fine Art Glossy Test Pack. So let's get some prints and let's have a look at these amazing papers. So the Fine Art Glossy Test Pack from Harlemuller contains the Fine Art Pearl, the Fine Art Brighter Satin, the Photo Rag Satin, Photo Rag Pearl, Fine Art Brighter, Photo Rag Metallic, and Brighter FB. Now all these papers are really, really, really nice. I'd even go as far as to say kind of delicious. They kind of feel great in your hands and things. So let's start off by looking at the Fine Art Pearl because although it's not a brighter paper, it's a brighter type of paper or like paper. A little bit like our Platinum Gloss Art Fiber we do. So it's an absolutely beautiful paper. It comes in at 285 grams. So a really, really nice, gorgeous paper. Quite a high white point to it as well. Now I've printed this lovely snow scene on the picture here, this lovely frozen lake with all the lovely trees and things going on here. Absolutely gorgeous print. Printed it on the pearl because it's got a slightly smoother texture to the print. So it feels lovely. And it's quite got a high, quite a high white point as well. So all the snow and things will come out as it should do, nice white. But also it holds detail perfectly, which to be honest, all these papers will do. They will hold detail absolutely fantastically because of this kind of semi-gloss kind of feel to them. Now, they're classified kind of almost as a gloss paper, but really I like to call them like a dark green gloss. They feel a little bit satiny and pearly in a semi-gloss kind of feel to them. But this is a lovely smooth paper at 285 grams. It sounds like it might not be the most thick paper. However, it feels beautiful in the hand and it has got this lovely texture to it. Um, yeah, really, really nice paper. Really quite impressed with this, actually. It hasn't got too much of a sheen. I hope you can kind of see that on the camera. It's got a slight sheen, but it's not like a gloss sheen to it. So really, really nice paper. Will suit colour, black and white. I prefer it for colour, to be honest, something with a bit of detail in. Um, but really, it is just going to be a great paper to have on your shelf as this smooth finish where you don't really want a textured paper to start distracting from the scene if you've got kind of a nice sky and things up here. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. So let's move on to the Fine Art Brighter Satin. 
I've gone with something a little bit different here. Bit of a kind of a, a shot, a music concert kind of shot on here. But I wanted to see how the black reacts in here because at the end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to pull together kind of the Baraita papers just to see how the black points change in here because that is the whole point of Baraita. We want that high kind of white point as well, which it has. Compared to the pearl, which I've got over here, it's, it's probably the same white point, to be honest. It's not too dissimilar. The pearl possibly is slightly brighter here. However, the black point of this paper is absolutely to die for. Kind of really silky, nice black. It's held detail kind of in the smoke here coming down from the lights. Absolutely lovely and really great. Will suit black and whites, but also I think if I printed this snow scene on it as well, it would actually work really, really nicely and really, really well. So really, really nice paper. I've talked a lot about the brighter in the past, but this is a brighter satin, so it just hasn't got as much sheen on it. But it has got this lovely grain running through the paper as well, I can just see. Really, really nice paper. Again, um, absolutely fantastic. Feels great in your hand as well. I, I think if you print anything on the, any of these papers, you will not be disappointed at all. Really, really nice. So let me just put this one to one side and then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the photo rag satin. So I'm just going to put this one over here actually because it'd be quite interesting because they're both satin papers but this one is a, a photo rag satin. So let me just pop that one over there a little bit. Okay so this one here like I said is the photo rag satin. Now it's very different to the brighter satin it's got that rag base, so it's 100% cotton, and it really hasn't got too much of a sheen. It is a very, it's a very special paper in the sense that it feels, when you get it out of the box, like a matte paper. But when you print on it, the print just has a slight kind of sheen to it. So it really does sit in between a matte paper and a kind of gloss paper or Baraita type of paper. It is such a unique paper. And I'm actually really, really liking it. Um, it works fantastically for color. I've printed a landscape on it because I think that is gonna be kind of the best kind of look of a paper and things. So I think absolutely fantastic. Now I think it's got a very similar texture to the brighter satin here, but it's it's just great. It just feels really, really nice. I'm really impressed with it, actually. It's very special paper. I haven't seen anything else like this on the market uh, where it, it's a matte paper. I thought they put the wrong paper in the box, to be honest, and then I printed on it and thought, oh yeah, that just works really, really nicely. So that's the photo rag satin. Stunning, feels amazing as a photo rag paper would. Feels very much like the kind of this photo rag smooth in your hand and just looks lovely. So let's move on to the photo rag brighter because we looked at the satin. Now the photo rag brighter is this print here. Now, this is a very, very nice paper. I've spoke about the photo rag brighter before. Now I've talked about it in terms of black and white as well. And I do actually have a black and white picture just here as well for comparison, a bit of a street shot that I did. So it works brilliantly. High white point, just looks really nice. Works for color really nicely, holds detail really, really well as well. So it picks out all these lovely details in the tree here. But also in black and white, it has that really, really nice dark point, that black point of the paper. Now, if we kind of have a look, say, at the brighter satin here, I would say that I'm, for me, on these two shots, I think the photo rag brighter has a slightly deeper black. Could be just my eyes, so don't kind of quote me on that, but I just, I just do feel that the photo rag brighter is slightly, has a slightly deeper black. It's a little bit whiter, I think, possibly, but maybe it's just my eyes again, playing a little bit tricks on me. Love the texture of it, 
feels fantastic. Let's move on to Photorag Pearl. Now this again is a pearl type of paper. Feels great in your hand because it has that photo rag base. So it feels very much like the photo rag ultra smooth. Feels really, really great. It does color, as you can see here, fantastically. We'll do black and white equally as well, but absolutely beautiful paper. To be honest, now, again, probably saying something a little bit controversial here, these papers, they're very, very similar, to be honest. I've got the Photorag Brighter here, which has a slightly deeper black. I have the pearl here and the satins and things. They're all very, very similar. Part of the Photorag satin, which has a very unique type of feel to it. So it's picking one that just feels very nice. I would say that the, the pearl, Photorag Pearl just feels a little bit heavier, just very, very slight in here, but absolutely beautiful. The pearl, it feels a bit more like a smooth cotton type of paper, to be honest, but has a very slight sheen to it. Looks great, it just feels beautiful in the hand. I think, to be honest, any picture will look great. I mean, I've used something where the colors are really gonna pop off the page to me, and it looks fantastic and just looks really, really nice. Okay, so we've looked at the kind of satin, brighter satin, and we've also looked at the photo rag brighter. Harlem will do another two brighter papers. They do a, a fine art brighter, which is this one here, which is what I've printed on. I have to say it's probably one of my favorite brighter papers because it has a slight sheen to it. It feels really heavy in your hand as well. It has a sheen to it. It reminds me of the kind of fiber-based papers of the darkroom. Now, the fiber-based papers, Harlem Miller say, are what they're emulating here. And that's particularly true in the FB brighter, which is just this one here, which is emulating, this is a bit glossier than the fine art brighter, the FB brighter. So it is a bit more of a gloss, um, but it has, such a dark black point in here. Now, if I bring back in, say the photo rag brighter, I mean, because of this glossiness here, the black is a, probably a little bit deeper on the FB brighter. It's got a high white point as well because of that brighter content. I mean, the fine art brighter and the photo rag brighter here, they do look a little bit warm when compared against the FB brighter, which is this one here. So again, it's what you feel. They're very, very similar, to be honest. I mean, the fine art brighter that I've got here has held detail absolutely fantastically. I've also printed a color on the fine art brighter um, and it handled it fabulously. I didn't expect it to handle it any differently. The FB brighter will do color really, really nicely as well, but its big selling point is black and white and that dark room feel in your hand. As I said, the big difference between the two is the white point. So the FB brighter is slightly whiter, has a higher white point. Um, the fine art brighter feels a little bit heavier in the hand, very similar texture, but it's the black point of the FB. But remember, it is a little bit glossier and does have a slight sheen to it, a little bit more of a gloss to it, a bit more like that dark cream paper. For me though, it's all about the fine art brighter, to be honest. However, there is another paper in this test pack that everyone has to see to kind of believe it. And that is the Photorag Metallic. Okay, so Photorag Metallic is a, a semi-gloss paper based on photo rag, but it has this metallic look to it. I hope you can see that. I'll, I'll do some close-ups as well. But I hope you can see that in the video if I move it backwards and forwards. It has this very slight sheen to it. Very nice for water shots like I've got here, or anything with a bit of metallic, say car shots or anything like that. Works absolutely beautiful with them. Really, really nice paper. So it's a little bit pricey. However, in the test pack, you get to kind of 
try this out and try different kind of pay, try different types of pictures and things on these papers. But again, really, the photo rag papers, they kind of all feel the same, but there's just very slight differences. A little bit between like the FB and the fine art brighter, it's just that tiny little bit more gloss in the FB. I have to say the photo rag metallic though is slightly warmer paper. It does have the feel of photo rag and it just has this very slight texture in it as well, which is just beautiful and it feels absolutely fantastic. I have seen portraits printed on this paper as well. Look absolutely stunning. So really worth having a try and getting one of these test packs and looking at all these amazing papers. So there we have all the papers that are in the Fine Art Glossy Test Pack from Harlemuller. Bit of a whistle stop tour of them to be honest, going through kind of giving you a very brief overview of what I think kind of worked best on them. Beautiful papers. So the standout ones for me though are the photo rag satin. I just, I really wanna try some more bits on this and have a play with it because it's truly unique paper. And also the fine art barita as well. Those would kind of be my go-tos. However, if someone gave me some of these papers, I'd be more than happy to print absolutely anything on them. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice papers. Beautiful, especially on those Baraita papers, you've got that really deep black point in there. Absolutely stunning. Now I would say the Baraita FB probably does have the darkest black point, in my opinion, in the pictures I've printed. However, to be honest, they're so kind of small and there isn't really a massive difference between it, between them all, to be fair. I mean, the Brighter Pearl, the F Brighter FB, Fine Art Brighter, etc. The, the, the Brighter Satin as well. I mean, all stunning. For me, it's the Fine Art Brighter, but I'm sure many of you out there, cue the comments, will say that you prefer the Pearl or the Satin and things. Absolutely fine. They're all absolutely stunning papers, I'm afraid. So, no bad points today, I don't think, about any of them. I can't really think of any problems with any of them. They're all printed using the photo black inks on your printers. We'll work in pretty much any of the printers we've got here at Photospeed, right through from kind of the 8750 right up to Pro 1000s and things. Absolutely fine, no problems at all. So I hope that's been useful and giving you a good overview of what can be found in the Fine Art Glossy Test Pack. Now, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter to get all the latest photo speed news and also exclusive discounts this week on the Harlemuller Photo Glossies papers and the test packs. Also, don't forget to download the Art of Printing, the free ebook from Photospeed covering everything from switching your printer on to mounting to framing to bookmaking and everything in between. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. We release a new video every Thursday. So on that note, go and have a look at the Harlemula Glossy Fine Art Test Pack and all these absolutely amazing papers. So until next week, bye-bye.